Hi, my name is Julie Roca, and I am an independent senior consultant for all things assisted living, memory care, independent living. I am here with my good friend, Kimberly Sullivan Avenger, and we are going to do just a quick little bite. Um, Kim, how do patients or families start the admission process into a skilled nursing facility all by themselves without having to go through a hospital stay? I'm glad you asked that question, Julie. So what they can do is just reach out to the skilled nursing facilities, come for a tour, give us a call, and just start the process of going through, you know, the the patient's payer source, what's going on with the patient. Then we'll direct them on how to get the medical records, how to obtain all their financial information if needed to start the Medicaid process, um, what private pay costs, um, how therapy works. There's a wide variety of questions that we'll okay. answer and go through from them. So it can be an easy process okay. once they just reach out and give us a call. And can they come in on Medicare days if they haven't used up all their Medicare days? They sure can. Okay. Um, if they uh, have been out of the hospital or a skilled nursing facility in the last 30 days, okay. they have a 30-day window to come back into a skilled nursing facility or just come into a facility from home that they haven't been into a facility. Okay. Oh, like recently <clears throat> I had a client who had a UTI that uh, she had gone to the hospital numerous times for and just couldn't get over it. And so um, EMS came out and um, they had a consult right there in the home and we were able to say, okay, we probably need to call the skilled nursing facility and direct admit, and it was wonderful. She didn't have to go hang out in the ER Mm -hmm. for hours, go have another hospital stay. It was so much easier for her. So thank you so much for these tips, and I hope that this is helpful to a lot of families. Yes, thank you.